My name is uh, Sam Mkombwe, working for Community Markets for Conservation in Komako, based in the eastern province of Zambia, coordinating Katete and Sinde District. Komako, we have been working with uh, over 225,000 farmers. When we started working with them, we discovered that most of these farmers had a lot of abandoned fields, because actually these farmers wanted to open up new fields for an increased yield. So you find that most of activities that were most done in the area that we are working with it was cutting down of trees and you find that a lot of the landscape has been actually destroyed. Our commitment has been actually to give them the best information on how they can farm. This field has been actually in function for more than 28 years old but you can just look around this field. These are completely depleted soils. It's because of the mode of farming that is being applied here. This field has been actually cultivated by the use of plow. This actually exposes the soil microorganisms. If every year you are plowing the soils, then you are exposing your soils to a lot of damage. This is why every time when we are sensitizing our Komako farmers, and even the non-Komako farmers, we tell them, the importance of planting the Griseria sepium in their fields. It's just after two planting seasons, you will see that the soils will start enhancing. You will see that the soil topograph will change, the soil profile will improve, and even the performance of the soils actually get better. What the Griseria does, it will actually come in and fix the, mi the missing elements, which are very important to support plant growth, emergent development, and even elements that help actually uh, the crop, especially like maize. When I was young, we used to have malnutrition, but since Komako came in, we no longer have this disease because of the crop rotations, the crop that we are planting right now, and the grisidia we use for our manure and uh, our granary management. And from the disease that is no longer there, our families are now healthy, and our children are also healthy. Gayamba says this kama kuni ya Grisidium 2016-2017 season. Pa wayambilo pa kuyamba kutiambe kupanda makuni ya Grisidium wa koma kondo wakiza na makuni aya na kutisambizia za uwemi wa makuni ya Grisidium. So pa wayambi tika chuona uta anjindu chino nonoshomene, kutisewe zisike chindu cha kutapulika waka, tinda sesie pocha, tinda chuone cha, tika tivira kwa chino nono. Niposo tika wana ngangetu shita vintu vacha bechabe. Nangawuli tika tulanga manesa alizi, Kupanda munda, ah, tika wanga nika wange nisi wangu utangwa nika. Kwenye tika panda ya la makuni, utateka nituone vakundazi. Tika limbikia na kupanda ya la makuni ya grisidi, ampaka 2016-2017, tika yamba kupanga magambu hitu minda, na chihanya hanya, ilata yamba kugamba magambu, na kuyamba kushitachi, kupurula mani ae, ya grisidi, ya tika puranga mani ya grisidi, na kuyaika mvichi mmakurumu. Tika puranga mani ya grisidi, ya kuyika mmakurumu mpaka, Ndimi yose kushitachi kumara. Tika titamara, tika undapo tudongo na kulindizika vula kutishitachi. Iwe vula ikati iza, tika panda mbeo zitu muna mvichi mumunda, muna tika ikamani ya grisidia. So tika titapanda, tiwone sona hivyo vikizapo. Mbwe tika dabauti mbeo ila ikafumanga muna mumunda muna. Ika wanga mbeo ya kutika fumana ngongono chomene. Ika wanga mbeo ya kutili bi, ya kutuwa lioso ya kaibekanga ngao tipa yengeta tila mvichi, pataleza kwene cha ni maanimani yeka ya grisidia. So ni potika ya mbila kunueka kutu, oh, kasi vikuni hivi tiku vileka waka ni vikuni vimoza wa pindu. Kasi wa ntuwa waka, waka ganiza weni, cha waka ganiza makula kutiletela makuni gani, makuni haya, panji kutiletela visambizgo hivi. So kuiza kukorola mbwe chilimika icho, tika za korola makola chomene, nyengwa zose tika wanga na njala, kwenye pa chilimika icho, tika limina vingoma kuikamani ya grisidia, tika korola makola, niku oh, tika utasa wakapumba kwa nyitu cha. So kufumila chilimika cha 2016-2017, mumunda wane ini, Ngusewezika kamani ya vichi ya grisidia. Ndimi iyo napanda po, napanda po grisidia. Pakuwa vingoma viwe molo mbeu iliyose ini ngapandamu. Ikuwa mbeu ya ngongono chomene. Mbeu ya kutichitika na chidu. Niposo tu, chinyake chongona kutichiku za kaza. Kutichiku za kaza. Chiku wanga kutichiku nipa chidu chomene. Jakune na kuti. Mula mumunda pa napanda mula muli grisidia. Kuiza kumbeu kutimbeke mbeu iyo tutumia mo mchingoma cha, cha grisidia ichi. Nichi chingoma atika sese ya kama mavichi mani ya grisidia. Kwa chingoma, chokongola. Chingoma chikuru, chakuti, olo unga wana vili five six. Njela unga wana yu kwa komo cha. So munda ose uu, nifumia vandene hivi. Kunga wambu, 
Nimbe uimoza ya kukondweles ya chomeni. Ola kutimu beki. Nisee munga onaso ni vene vene. Chua se chingo machikuwa muni. Chua chingo machu kongola. Niposo chokondweles. Chingo machu wemi. Chakuti olo ni ngatu waka video doko waka. Nishinanjaa ine pakomo ya shitachi. Ya marira pempa papa. Ezgea ni kupanda makuni ya gurisidia. Please. Kulekele la chani. Niposo tu olo munga wana vakuchita. Kwene ezesea ni. Kupanda mani ya makuni ya gurisidia kutipandazi hapa. Muza msa kakundazi mulije pa kukola. Mwata angwani kama soa ya kaka baiki kwa mwza kafatraeza kaka munga demuela. Muza msa isika mani ya gurisidia. Pala mulije mani muza msuzika muza mkumbira kwa hise tanyini. Hapa sono haa njala tilichimbizi ya nkare. Tikulia waka chokala chakufasa. Kulije kutia ipa nge tamtu wa sondra mwaka kula fetraiza. Haa. Hise fetraiza hitu ni mani ya wali kutipa kwa vingeru wako mamu. I've been farming gurisidia sepiam for some time now and we get immense benefits in terms of crop yield from this crop and it helps in enriching the soil that it maintains the microorganisms and protects the soil from the sun soil which is very important to the farmer and we avoid the use of chemical fertilizers the farmer will benefit from the twigs when they remove the leaves the twigs remain also even the branches of Grisidia remains. So these twigs and branches can be used at a household as fuel. Then besides that, farmers also don't just grow the seasonal crops, but farmers also do gardening. So in gardens, especially when they are practicing uh, the growing of tomato, they use these twigs as stackings for tomato. Then besides that, these farmers, the small scale farmers use granaries, traditional granaries, which needs twigs. So they can use the twigs from Grisidia to make the granaries for their storage of the food. Then also besides that, the biomass for Grisidia is an insect repairant and also a pest repairant. So they use the leaves to put in the granaries. So this is what makes Grisidia a wonder tree to a small scale farmer. E muri mi wa Grisidia ni sanga mo pindu. Wa nu ni di zenga mo nyumba yo. Tidi kana prasta na fro. Tidi gramo so ngombe five. Muri mo wa Grisidia tu kavingo ma vitu vuta makora munda wa Grisidia. Vuta makora shome ne sot sanga darama zinandi ngati takorul. Ngoro tili gulamo wana skuru tusambizgilamo mvisi mmunda wa grisidia mwene mmunda. Tusanga moso ndarama zinyake taika komareba mmaminda aso ya nyake mrimi wa visi wa grisidia. Sono wanyane wosi awanda yambeko kuyamba kupanda grisidia. Opega kutiwa na sigwi nao wayambego kupanda. Sifukwa wako lorenge kukorora kwa paukuru kutikuwa pepi. People saying Grisidia is not working but Grisidia is works and it is really working. And in my life I will never stop keeping Grisidia trees until I die. We have been implementing a program with Komako planting trees. With the trees which I'm standing nearby here, that's Grisidia. These trees here have been giving a benefit to the farmers, including myself, because I also participate here. I'm the agroforest trainer. I also participate in terms of planting and encouraging the community because we can't all rely on fertilizer. We can also rely on this grisidia, the trees which we are planting, because it's also part of conservation farming. So right now where I am, we, we planted even in Nazi, mixing with the trees, but the benefits they are very good. So we are encouraging the community, meaning that everyone, as we are farming, doing farming, we need also to mix the farming in terms of conservation farming and the planting of the trees, so that as we go further, all our fields will be mixed up with the trees. They are doing a lot, even beekeeping in these trees, Komako is one of them. They bought us brown nuts, whatever we plant, the Komako, they are also paying back to us by buying us and, the, and the putting into their shop where there is a green shop because of our products, natural products. We have everything in terms of mango, honey, 
which she, the farmers there, they, they, are, they, are, they are harvesting from there. They are few. So we really thank Komako. We want to continue working with, with Komako because of the benefits. They are living in the ground. They are working with the communities. So we have benefited a lot. Even the buying of whatever products we, we, we harvest, Komako, they buy. So we so want to continue to work with Komako the way they have changed our lives in the community, the way they have changed my subjects in the community. So we have a lot of programs that are in Canada. This is there in Sinda. The whole of my chief Don Komako is there. My advice to you young farmers is that maintain the crop residue on the ground. They will benefit you in, in a big way. You have the answers around you. Join the Komako farmers in their producer group meetings and learn the better ways on how you can rehabilitate your soils, how you can bring life to your soils, and how you can actually feed the soils for the soils to feed you for the next 28 years so that when your children will inherit this field, even the time when you'll be normal, they'll be able to give a testimony and say, this is what we did with our dad, bringing these souls back to life and be able to feed them so that they feed us and empower us all the way to the back.